Hi, welcome back to Bite Size Music. Today, another one on capos, and this time just other things you can do with capos. So first thing is you don't have to do a capo across all the strings. So for instance, we can play an E major here, starting on the seventh fret of the A string, but leave the low E string open. that G sharp minor you have to sort of that which you know is the price you pay for having the open E here you have to go behind the capo it's a bit fiddly but with a bit of practice so that's the first thing you can do next thing is um, if you're playing a progression down here or more likely you're playing with somebody else who's playing another guitar or another instrument that sits in this register, um, then you might not want to sit there just playing the same chords as them. You, know, you might play the same chords or close enough, but you might not want to play the same voicings. So let's say we're doing a 1, 4, 5 in E, E, A and B. So, you know, your chum is going... Now what you can do is go up here, um, and maybe you do all the frets, maybe not, but then you can do your E like this, and it's just a different voicing. It sounds, you know. You've got the root here of the um, B chord, uh, higher. Sounds, you know, quite different to you get that note. Or you can, you know, you can carry on. You go right up here, perhaps. Oh, how can I do this? sound sort of mandolinish. Um, you know, you don't need a capo to do this, so really all we're doing here is applying caged and making our fingering easier. So, you know, another alternative is to sort of just go um, fiddlier, uh, or just because you don't need to play all the notes. I'm sure you know that. So anything else to say on capos? Um, I think the other thing is if you're doing exercise and it's hurting, um, sometimes that's because your fingers just aren't strong enough for the action and so just a capo on the first fret can make practicing this bar chord um, easier. So if, then if you're new to bar chords and you find the F bar chord particularly difficult, rather than struggle on with something that's just a bit too hard, do it here. And it's not the same thing as doing this, because there's more tension here, because the height to the nut is greater than the height to a capo, which is the first fret. Um, so it's slightly easier than this even. Now, obviously, if you're getting up here, the tension here is minimal, so you can just practice it up here. But if you're wanting to get used to your hand being over here, then a capo can really help you with that. Okay, so there you are, a few more uses of capos. I hope you found that helpful. Uh, if you like my videos, please do subscribe, comment, like, that sort of thing, and I'll see you tomorrow for a few more minutes of guitar. Bye for now.